Last week, we brought you an investigation into how animal cruelty cases are handled in Pennsylvania. One of the most shocking cases was in Bedford County, where more than 90 dogs were rescued from one home. And while the couple who owns that house are now facing hundreds of criminal charges, many of the dogs are enjoying new homes. Tonight, our Jordan Mansberger brings us some happy tales of how the survivors are thriving. <coughs> Since being rescued, Murdoch the Basset Hound has been recovering with his new family, having to learn several things for the first time that many eight-year-old dogs learned as puppies. He uh, couldn't walk. Um, he was yellow from urine. Uh, he didn't know how to eat out of a bowl, didn't know how to drink water, didn't know how to go out a door, didn't know how to you know, didn't know what grass was. He didn't know how to be a dog. Michelle Miller in Tyrone has been rescuing Basset Hounds for years. When she heard about what happened, she knew she had to help. She also knew that for dogs like Murdoch, settling into this newfound freedom would be a long, slow process. He needed to have teeth pulled. He had an infection that hadn't been diagnosed. Um, they had to do a spinal tap on him, CT scan, x-rays, blood. Everything you can imagine. Murdoch spends most of his time now with his brothers Panda and George, who are also rescues. It's just the beginning of the process. I understand that, but it's also the beginning of his rehabilitation. So yeah. we're here for the long haul. But Michelle isn't alone. In fact, all across our area, people have been pitching in to try to help the dogs any way that they can. Jackie Byer from Everett was helping at the Bedford Humane Society just the day after the dogs were rescued. And that's when she found her dog, Max. We just saw him and we put him in our car and there here he is. <laughs> the five-year-old Corgi mix is one of the lucky ones, Jackie says, and didn't require as much medical attention as the others who were rescued from deplorable conditions. The people had to wear muck boots in their house. Their house was disgusting and just the dogs weren't being taken care of. They were never left out of their cages, is what we were told. Having volunteered with the Humane Society before, Byer says she still can't believe the scale of the rescue. And you couldn't even recognize them. They were so matted, and, you know, we went into a room where they were shaving them and taking care of them and stuff. But the nightmare still isn't over for many. On Monday, we learned that three more dogs had been surrendered to the Humane Society, coming from a Johnstown home where the couple was staying since their home was condemned in the wake of this massive rescue. The shelter is still looking for new homes for those dogs and several that have been there since January. We always try to, you know, pair them up with the right home. Um, the potential adopters, they need to be able to take care of them medically. Um, some of them do have some medical issues, so they would have to be able to take that responsibility on. If you would like to adopt, volunteer, or make a donation, you can contact the Bedford County Humane Society. Reporting for WTAJ News, I'm Jordan Mansberger.